close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long. It should be like you guys welcome me back to my own channel because I've been gone for a month. Um, in the past month, I moved across the state of Texas, and I was just kind of trying to, um, well, move into my new apartment, as well as get myself settled, and then school kind of started back up, and things just kind of got crazy again, but I made time this morning to film for you guys, and this look that I'm wearing uh, today is actually inspired by Linda Sanchez. She is Makeup by Sanchez on Instagram. This is uh, the look that she came up with and it was absolutely stunning and beautiful and it, as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's my next look. Done. Um, I really hope I hit the mark on it because she does stunning, stunning work. But, um... Yeah, so, just go ahead and jump straight into this video. It's kind of like a get ready with me since I do have to go through this pretty quickly and get ready to go somewhere else. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I will see you guys soon with a bare and naked face. And again, welcome back. Oh, and if you're new, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, well, like it anyway. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. <laughs> okay, so the very first thing that we're going to start off with is this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I love this one just because it brings, um, it neutralizes all my color that I have. Now that I got my primer on, I like to go set it, so I'm just going to use a shadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette right here. I'm going to take the color Silk Cream, which is this top third shade right here, and I am going to use this Eco Tools Large Eye Brush just to set that all into place. Now I'm going to go in my crease, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm going to go in with the color Creamsicle right here. I'm just going to keep doing this and building up that uh, pigmentation because I want it really bright and bold. Making sure you get it also really in this inner corner as well. So it's really blended and smoked out by the time that we're done. So I'm going to go in with this color right here. It is called Cran Apple right here. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lids. I'm going to do that using the Sigma E55 brush. Now I'm going to go and kind of deepen up my crease. I'm going to take my Sigma E25 brush. I'm going to go in with the color Hunt right here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to this. Just a little bit. Alright, so obviously since now I'm going to be working with glitter, I need my glitter glue. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. And I'm literally just going to put that right on the center of my lids. And then I'm going to immediately follow it up with this mysterious glitter. That I don't know what it is, but it's this bottom one. Should just yeah. And I'll be applying the glitter with this Morphe G50 brush. Now I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay Electric palette right here and I am going to take the color Slow Burn, this orange shade right here, and I'm going to take my Morphe E17 brush and blend that out into my crease as well. 
All right, so now I'm going to clean up this under eye and remove any of this excess glitter that kind of like trickled down onto my face. All right, so now that we're cleaned up the under eye, I'm gonna go move on to my face. So the very first thing that I have to do with my face is prime it. So I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Base Mattifying Primer today. That is a mouthful. For my foundation, I am going to use the Too Faced Born This Way uh, foundation in natural beige. I'm going to use my Morphe M439 brush to blend this out. Now moving on to concealer. As always, the uh, Tarte Shape Tape concealer and this is in a light sand. And I'm actually going to use this what brush is this Moda Moda brush. It doesn't have a brush number on it, but it comes in a pack A4, unless it's this 802 at the bottom. Oh, it is. So I'm going to use brush 802. It's down here at the bottom, a little tiny. But I got this in a pack of four, and I really like this brush for blending out my highlight. Now I'm on to setting my entire face, and I'm going to use what I always use, the e.l.f. powder brush. Just set my entire face. I'm gonna go and do my eyeliner, I guess. I never do eyeliner, but I guess I'll do it now. And I'm going, I'm gonna use the NYX Liquid Black Liner, like I always do, to do my wing liner. I'm going to use this Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon in Soft Brown. I'm just going to quickly define my brows. I'm going to go put on my mascara real quick and then I'll go back to the face. I know I go back and forth like crazy, but you guys should know that by now. So, for my mascara, I am going to go in with this Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. This is actually my favorite mascara right now. And I'm just going to apply this to the top lashes for right now. Do not to make the lashes black for my Falsies that will come in later, but right now I'm going to go move on to my face. I'm going to add color, blush, highlight, do all that stuff, and then I'll return back to my eyes, finish that up, and then finish it up with the lips. So, going on to my contour, I am going to use this other Moda, is that even how you say it? Whatever, Moda brush, and this is 803. Three. And I'm going to use this NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm going to use the second shade right here. Right here. I'm going to use this one. Now that we're a little bit more carved out, it's time to add some color and a blush to my face. What do I want to go in with today? I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna go in with this Milani Powder Blush in Coral Cove. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques Blush Brush to apply that to my cheeks. Time to 
time for highlights. You know, the best part. Um, I've been obsessed with using this uh, Anastasia Nicole Girl Glow Kit, so why would I use anything else right now? I'm just going to use the color Daydream, which is this color right here. And I'm going to use none other than my Sigma F35 brush. I'm actually going to mix a little bit of Forever Young with it, and that is this middle top color right here. Let's finish up my eyes. I'm going to go in back with the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I am going to use my Morphe E17 brush again, and I'm going to go in with the color Slow Burn just like I did before, and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line. I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs Eye Coal and I'm going to line my water line. Now I'm going to go in and put that uh, Tarte mascara on my lower lashes now. So for my lashes today I'm going to go in with these House of Lashes in Doll Face. So I'm going to go ahead off camera, put these lashes on, and then I'll come right back to finish this off with the lips, and then we'll be done after I set it. But yeah, so I'll be right back with my lashes on. Okay, so I forgot about my highlight. <laughs> kind of, so my eyes. So I'm going to go back in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit by Nicole Guerrero. I'm going to highlight my la my la la la, give it a dog. I'm going to use this other Moda brush in 804, and I'm going to go in with the color Forever Lit right here. This very bright white. All right, so now we're on to our lips, and uh, Linda. Uh, she has a very lock phone. She has a very like neutral lip on So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So for the lips. I decided that I want to use this um, Revlon lipstick in 420 blushed So last but not least, as always, is I got to set my face in place. And I am going to use my Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. And that completes today's, uh, today's look. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of like all over the place crazy, but I did like how it turned out overall. Um, I know I messed up on this wing, but whatever. We make mistakes in life. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I already am planning some Halloween um, makeup tutorials for you guys. So if you guys have any particular costumes or something that you are looking or like wanting an idea for or something, uh, leave that down below. But I already have some uh, stuff planned in my head and that completes today's entire video yeah so i will see you guys in my next video bye guys